This is Chris Gower. I am a GIS consultant here at Maryland Department of Planning, and today I'll be walking you through how to use the Census Low Response Rate Dashboard for Maryland. The Census Low Response Rate Dashboard developed specifically for Maryland was structured similarly to the U.S. Census Bureau's Rome app. While Rome shows all the information via pop-up, the Low Response Dashboard shows key variables contributing to the Low Response Score as either dynamic donut chart or as a dynamic text indicator. Now let's talk about how to use the dashboard. To navigate around the map, you can either click and drag with the mouse or use the county filter in the top right corner of the header. Once a county is selected from the drop-down list, the map will zoom and flash to the county you select. Additionally, there is a built-in zoom control in the bottom right corner of the map. On startup, all donut charts and indicators default to Census Tract 1000 in Allegheny County. The census tract that is being referenced in the donut charts and indicators is updated via click selection. There are two ways to update the charts, the selection tool or the selection icon in the pop-up. The selection tool is in the top left corner of the map, while the selection icon is located at the bottom left of the pop-up furthest to the right. The pop-up displays additional information about the census tract. When a census tract is selected, the boundary will be highlighted in red. When the selection tool is not activated but the boundary is clicked, the, the clicked boundary will be highlighted in light blue. For the charts to update, the census tract must be selected and highlighted in red. Although it is possible to select multiple census tracts, it is recommended to only select one at a time for the most accurate results to display. To avoid selecting multiple tracts, it is recommended you zoom in until you can see the census tract boundaries shown in light gray before, before you make your selection. If multiple tracks are selected, the charts will not show the sum of the selection. Located within the map section of the dashboard are a few tools to enhance the user experience. In the top right corner of the map are three icons, starting from the left, the home button, legend button, and the base map button. The home button updates the map zoom level to statewide. The legend button displays all the map layer names and their associated symbols. Lastly, the base map button allows you to update the base map style of the map. The base map choices range from vector roadmaps to satellite imagery. When the dashboard is first launched, there is a text panel on the left side of the dashboard that displays temporarily and then is docked. If you click the small arrow tab to the left of the blue donut charts, the text panel will display again. This panel gives brief instructions on how to use the dashboard, a more detailed link to the user guide document, a link to the U.S. Census Bureau's row map, and describes the variables that determine a track's low response score. Thank you for your interest in using the Census Low Response Rate Dashboard for Maryland.